Hi everybody, I'm Tracy Patton. And I'm Kathy Ryan. And this is Women 2018. And yep, we are still on our adventure, traveling across the country to meet and interview the many women running for Congress and for political office. And the majority of the women who we are interviewing are running for office for the first time. They're, this is a history-making event in the United States. It, it sure is. And we are here in Texas, in <laughs> District 7, which means Houston, which means Lizzie Fletcher, who is running for Congress, and she just happens to be right here. here. Come on down. Come, come on down, Lizzie. Join us, Lizzie. So <laughs> good to guys. have you here. Oh, it's so exciting <laughs> to be here. Thank you for having me. <laughs> so so I, I want to know, you talk a lot about being um, just uh, just passionate about Houston, and you're a Houstonian. You've been here a long time. So tell us about that. Yeah, so I am a, a lifelong Houstonian, and I am Houston proud, which was a big slogan for the city back in the 80s. Oh, cool. um, but Houston is an incredible city, and I'm so glad that you guys are here visiting and you'll get a chance to see some of it because Houston is a really incredible place. And what I've been saying since I started the campaign is that we need a lot more Houston in Washington, D.C. Oh, and why what do you I say, mean yeah, by that? What do you mean by that? You read what my I mind. What I mean <laughs> is Houston is a welcoming city. Mm -hmm. now, this city yeah. has grown since I was a kid, and my mom grew up here, and her dad grew up here, and it has grown by leaps and bounds. We love it when people move here and want to live here with us, whether they're from around the country or around the world. We welcome everybody. Wonderful. And we yeah. think that that's what makes this such a great place to live. Yes. And I think that we need that attitude in Washington. Absolutely. Um, and, and Lizzie, you were saying something about Houston being so creative. Talk a little bit more, because you, sure. you've been a, a bit involved in the creative arts, in addition to being an attorney, which there is a certain creativity in there that. There is right? creativity yes. in that, too. Oh, but um, You guys all want to be yeah. actors, it seems. <laughs> well, I do think that um, Houston is a place that is innovative, right? We invented the first dome stadium. Everyone can thank us oh, for that, was oh, the okay. Astrodome, the eighth oh, wonder yeah. of the okay. world. And, um, you know, we put a man on the moon. But we also, you know, when we had trouble figuring out how to get him back, we solved the problem with duct tape. Uh, and that's the kind of town that this is, yeah, right? I love it. That's yeah. what we do. And yeah. I think that we need a little bit more of that in Washington, A little more too. duct taping. A yeah. little, little more, more impro improvising. A little and... more just getting the job done. Yeah. Because we exactly. see things stalling in Washington, yeah. not getting done, and it's time to send some people up there who will actually get something done. I love and it. the other thing about this community is that we really care about each other, and we're yeah. invested in each other, and we work together. This yeah. is a hardworking city, yeah. but we work together, and I yes. think we need a whole lot more of that. And Absolutely. you know what we've been able to do in the city is incredible. So Houston gets kind of a bum rap, I have to say. People have been here in August; it's pretty hot, uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, but everyone loves coming here in February and March when it's perfect, and everyone else is snowed in. And the so, weather is great right now. The weather's great right and now. it is April. It's perfect. It's perfect weather, yeah. and um, and so you know here we have some mosquitoes, occasionally the flying cockroach. You know, there are a few oh, challenges here. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> and, and there was this great campaign a few years ago that was called Houston, It's Worth It. And it was this whole list of things that are kind of what they called the afflictions. And then they said at the end, Houston, it's worth it. And it is, and it's because it. of the people that live here. People and are so friendly. People are friendly, really friendly, people are creative, and we've got so much going on here. We have an incredible art scene. We have amazing museums. Mm -hmm. I used to work at the Alley Theater downtown. Um, we have a huge arts district with permanent opera, symphony, ballet companies, permanent resident theater company, oh, which is the oh, alley, yeah. um, and Wonderful. innovative groups yeah. too. I'm on yeah. the board of a group called Open Dance Project, which is a new um, arts oh, that organization. Really that's, interesting. Yeah. It's an educational organization that helps uh, young students kind of cr express themselves creatively through dance and movement. Um, I'm also on the board of an organization called Writers in the Schools, and there are a lot of WITS organizations around the country, um, yeah. but we send writers into schools all over Houston to help students find their voices. Great, yes. And I think what we're seeing with a lot of women this election cycle is that we're finding our voices, yes. and that's we important are. for Definitely. all of us. Definitely. Definitely. Yes. Well, let me ask you one other question because you yeah. are running for Congress. Yes. Sorry, Mom, to have you out of this. No, that's fine. We have a, we're going to be very casual here. We, this is my new gadget, and I and I love it because it's very awesome. up close and personal. We get to be okay. cozy. Um, okay. So, describe the moment or moments 
that you just decided to run? I'm always interested, we're always interested in how that, what that process was. Sure, well, you know, I did start thinking about it after the 2016 election results. I started oh. thinking about what I could do uh -huh. um, more and started looking and I kept having this conversation um, a lot about kind of where are the grown-ups? Now, where are the people yes. that are supposed to be looking out for us and mm -hmm. making the best decisions for everyone and yeah. being responsible about right, them? Right. And I just didn't feel like uh, I was seeing a whole lot of that uh, from some members of Congress. And so I went to the town hall that my uh, congressman held last spring, and I just thought, I can do better. Now, I've been representing Houstonians now for more than a decade as their lawyer. I've been their voice in court. And I know how to listen, know how to help, and I care so much about this community and making sure yeah. that the residents of this community get the representation we deserve. And I thought after that, I really can do a better job, and I want to, and I'm going to. And I we launched my campaign it. for Congress, we and here I am. It. Yeah, it's <laughs> so exciting. One last question, Lizzie. Yeah. Um, what do you think the impact will be with women like you? I mean, amazing women like you running for political office. What will be the impact? Well, I think we've already seen the impact already. People are inspired. Um, we have so many student volunteers that are coming into our office. Oh, really young, exciting. young women that are in high school and college who are in here every afternoon, every weekend, helping us. And so I think that you know we're really setting an example for so many people that all we need to do is show up and make our voices heard. Mm -hmm. And I think that a lot of these women who are running, a lot of us first time candidates and a lot of women who've been fighting and running for years are just showing everyone how it's done. And I think that we're gonna we're gonna sweep into Washington and state houses across the country. Right. And I think we're gonna get to work and we're gonna get things done. Oh. And um, I'm excited to do it and I'm so honored to be yep. able to do it and to be yep. able to really carry yeah. the hopes that so many people in this community mm -hmm. have right. about making the world a better place. So it's a real honor and it's really fun too. We're having a great time. Well, yeah. Lizzie, it's been an honor to be here interviewing you. And you, you guys, if you want to know more about Lizzie Jones, Lizzie Jones, Lizzie Fletcher. I like Bridget Jones. <laughs> I Lizzie, love Bridget Jones. Lizzie Jones. Yeah. Lizzie Fletcher, go to lizziefletcher.com and find out more about uh, how she stands on the issues and more about her. And that's it for us. What, um, one more, oh, well, you wanted to do this. You wanted well, uh, what I'd like to say is we have a website. It's women2018.org. When you go on that site, there's a little tab there that says menu. And if you press on that, you can go through all the interviews that we that we have done so far. And um, and you can find a little travel a little tidbits. Travel, we put a little so, travel in there too. So. Yeah, so come along with us but, on our adventure. We're gonna continue across the different states. We're leaving Texas. We're off to someplace else. We're not going to tell you because it's a surprise. <laughs> and you're, this says, by the way, votes for women. Yeah, it's reversed. It backwards it's backwards, that. but that's okay. You guys should hold a mirror yeah. up or whatever. Hold it up to the mirror. And right? um, okay, so we will see you next time. And thanks so much to Lizzie Fletcher. Yeah, thank you. All. Yeah, thanks and for coming. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.